There seems to be some confusion on how to call functions in MATLAB, so I want to make this video to help clear this up. So I'm going to make a script to call a couple of different quad solver functions that I've created. So I'm going to begin by making sure that the workspace is cleared each time that I run this code. So first I'm going to call the quad solver function that you guys saw in my last video. If you remember, the inputs to this function are three scalar numbers. And here I'll make the declaration of those scalars. And then I'll call the quad solver function and place the roots in the variable sol1, which means solution1. So if I open the bracket, I can see that I need to input a variable a, b, and c. And if I go to more help, I can see the form of the equation. Well, what I want to point out is that the variable doesn't necessarily have to be a, b, and c. So if I put x, y, z instead, all I'm doing is saying that x, or this x here, will now act as a, y will act as b, and z will act as c inside of the quad solver function. So you'll see a little bit more of what that means once I step inside of the function. So now I'm going to run this, and I've used the debugger tool so that I'll stop on this quad solver function call. And so I've declared my variables x, y, and z, and now I can run the quad solver function. So if you pay attention here, if I choose to step, then I'm going to execute this function without going inside of the function. So if I step, then it's calculated whatever the function has told it to calculate, and it's returned the solution to the variable that I specified. Now let me do that again, but this time I want to actually go inside and watch how this function gets this value. So I'll run it again. I've declared x, y, and z, and then I step in the function. So once I'm inside, you can see that a, b, and c have now taken the place of x, y, and z. So I've read in here x, y, and z in the place of a, b, and c. So what I want you to notice is that I can input whatever variable names I want into the function. MATLAB only cares about the location of each variable inside the function call. So I can change this variable and I can call it C1. I can call it C2, this C3, and then as long as I change these accordingly, I'll get the same answer as before. Solution 1 equals 2 and negative 3, same as it was before.